7 News reporter Amy Holyfield with a look at the damage. A drive through Lovell Valley in Sonoma shows you what the fire did last night and spots where it is still burning. Firefighters are staged nearby and are watching it carefully today. It is also being watched from above. This is a rural area where the homes are very spread out. But drive the other direction and you will find a neighborhood on flat streets. The fire hasn't reached this area, but it is close, so an evacuation order is in place here. But Jeff Grigsby, his wife, his father-in-law, and his dog are still here. I'll stay right till the flames are right reach on the uh, um, doorstep. That doesn't mean he isn't nervous. When they told us to evacuate, there was flames up in there, and the flames were cresting the top of that hill and over here, and uh, I was pretty scared. We went into town to talk to people who have evacuated. They are at least enjoying some creature comforts, like an open Starbucks, a rare find in the wine country this week. Everybody's been super generous and helpful with each other, but it feels kind of like a ghost town and just hanging out. A lot of people have left, so, but some of us don't want to leave. But Jeff can't get fresh coffee and a scone. Police say they can't force you to leave, but if you do leave, you won't be allowed back in. Just a hot breakfast, you know, we still have hot water. Uh, we don't have any electricity. Uh, all our food is rotten. Um, but, I, you know, I'll hold out. Well, with the poor air quality, masks and respirators are still in high demand. Yeah, and you can see why here. Meteorologist Spencer Christian is up next and tell us if there is any relief in sight.